guys, welcome back to Mel's Beauty Hangout. Today's video is how I got this look right here. I tried a bunch of new makeup, but some makeup that I'm absolutely obsessed with already. So I wanted to put it all on my face and give you my thoughts on it. And this is the look that I came up with. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and what products I used and what my uh, initial thoughts are and what I think about the products at the very end. If you guys do like what you see and you want to hang out with me more often at Mel's Beauty Hangout, then please hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it so much and we could be lifelong friends. So let's go ahead and jump right into this what I think is going to be a long video. Today's video is going to be about using, uh, testing out new products that are new to me and some that are new to the beauty community. And so I thought I'd go ahead and do a tutorial for you guys, give you kind of like a review of what I think about the products and how they wear to see if you want to go ahead and spend the money or not. So it was just kind of like a chit chatty, get ready with me type of video. Um, I, I'm going to try to do a look that is very holiday-ish if I can with the products that I have. Uh, I am done babbling and we're gonna get on with this video. So going in to our eyeshadow palettes. I have three new ones. I have the I Want Candy eyeshadow palette. I have the Solar Flare eyeshadow palette. And I have, it's my Ray Ray eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. I don't know what we're gonna do today. I might just do the two BH Cosmetics I'm going to save the I Want Candy for another video. I have used this before and I love it. So I'll save that for another tutorial because I'm really excited to try these ones because the, these palettes I've not tried by themselves. So I haven't tried it at all. This is the It's My Ray Ray by BH Cosmetics. I actually didn't know who this YouTuber was until I, I follow Katie or Luster Lux or at Katie. I like doing her last name. But you all probably, if you're like huge into the beauty community, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, she did um, she did a tutorial using this palette right here. This is what it looks like. The colors are so beautiful. So this is what it looks like. And so she did a tutorial and it looks so beautiful. The colors look so pigmented. I thought I would go ahead and pick this up. And then this is the Solar Flare by BH Cosmetics as well. I haven't bought anything from BH Cosmetics in quite a while. Um, I do have the Carla Bible palettes. They're both made by BH Cosmetics and they're incredible quality. This is the Solar Flare palette. And I think I got this during Black Friday and it was only 10 bucks. And I was like, uh, yeah, because um, these colors. So these are two of the colors. I do have a color here, but if I like, you're not gonna see it. So they're two colors that I just swatched and now they're on me. Um, and so I really like, I'm like really excited to see how well they perform on the eye. So I wanted to try this out with the It's My Ray Ray palette and see what kind of look we can come up with. I'm gonna go in with concealer, just put a little dot dot on my eyelid and cancel out all that brightness. I always put, oops, I always put scotch tape in the back of my hand to warm it up so it's not super sticky when I apply it. So I'm just throwing on my tape. That's as even as that's going to get. Pick up this Morphe M504 brush. So I'm going to go in with the shade right here first. I'm just holding this, oh, there we go. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here first, called Nudist. And I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid to help set that concealer we put. Okay, so we have our transition shade on. So next we're gonna go in with the shade Pancake, which is right here. And we're just gonna work that into our crease area. I'm going to try to make this a pretty simple eye look. Okay, so I'm going to pick up lightly on that same brush again and Control Freak. And I'm just going to take that on just the outer edges. So it looks like that. So I'm going to go in to the color Spice 
And I'm just gonna work that into with like a kind of smaller fluffy brush. This is the ColourPop one. I'm not sure which brush this is, but it's just like a fluffier or fluffier dense one. And I'm just gonna work that just in my crease. The spice, this palette is freaking phenomenal. And I'm just picking up the shade Nudist again. It's the first shade we went into. And I am just kind of going over all the edges. Make sure everything is totally blended out. And these colors are blending better than some of my higher end palettes. I just like doing like my edges. <laughs> and then I'll go in and do like the center because I don't want to keep that on too long. So you don't have to do this part, but I'm going to go in with my NYX glitter glue. I love this glitter glue probably more than like any other glitter glue. I've tried like higher end ones. Actually, I do have a blog post about the glitter glues, the Too Faced, and this one. Like the a battle of it on my blog. So if you want to check it out, it's melsbeautyhangout.com. It's on there, so you can check it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one eye at a time. And I'm just going to put this on the majority. Not majority, but about like half of my lid space. Brush, and then we're going to go into the color, the shade. That fell out and we're just going to wow dang okay and we're just gonna peck that all over the lid the reason why I go in with the glitter glue to begin with is because it really helps hold on to the shimmer product but also helps enhance it tremendously so then we're gonna go with the color angel which is right next to it and hit that on the center of the lid. Right, so then once it's like totally dry from that glue, we're gonna go back in to Control Freak on a flat fluffy brush. And we're just going to blend out very lightly those edges. I hardly ever do liquid eyeliner just because I don't ever do it, so I'm not the greatest at it. Okay, that eye turned out really well. This eye is like, what? We're just gonna leave that because if I keep messing with it, it's actually looks like a little thicker. Okay, we're gonna leave it on like that. I'm gonna put on some lashes. I'm gonna use, I've never used these before. Well, it's a little intense. These are the Flutter Lashes and Intoxicating. I think Jaclyn Hill uses these for her video. She always uses them. Um, very dramatic. So before I put on my lashes, I kind of want to go in with the Stila, Stila Magnificent Metals in Smoky Storm. You totally don't have to do this, obviously. I just add some more dimension, but you don't have to do it because I just had it in my drawer and I haven't used it in a long time. Alright, lashes are all on and I'm obsessed with these lashes. I look like I have two caterpillars on my eyeballs. I'm going to go on the primer that I always use. It's my ride or die type of primer. It's called Skin to Die For by Peter Thomas Roth because we are going to use a new foundation today. So I wanted to see what it looked like on a primer that I always use. Today's foundation we're gonna try out today is the Maybelline, I think this is the Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And this is what the foundation, if I can get it to focus, this is what the bottle looks like. So this is a brand new product. I've seen some reviews on it, but it's not going to change how I think about it. And yes, yeah, so this is in color Classic Ivory. It does have a pump, which I very much like. I've not tried this foundation out at all. And this Classic Ivory, I shade matched it to my Maybelline Pore, Matte, Maybelline, what's it called? Matte and Poreless or something like that. So hopefully it's the same shade. Now it's yellow as my Hue to Beauty one. <laughs> What's going 
know, I'm pretty nice. All right, so this is what it looks like with one pump, one pump of my face. It went on like a dream, blended out really well. I mean, you can definitely tell in here, it's like, you can see my pores, but that's just natural. Um, but yeah, no, it looks really good. It went on so well. It's very matte, what it looks like with foundation, and that's about with so it definitely covers up a lot I did use Maybelline better skin like the other foundation it was like and it's like in a blue bottle that stuff was awful <laughs> this is the color I know for a fact I'm in for my other Maybelline so it's like, do you see, I don't, I probably can't tell on camera, but it's a lot lighter when I apply it. But then after like a minute, it's like really dark. Oh, well, it's totally oxidizing. So I would probably suggest that the color that you think you're going to get, you should get, go up, go up a shade. But, wow. This is making my skin look incredible. Wow. It looks so good. Um, I don't have any new, I have no new concealers, and I know for a fact that this is so full coverage that I don't need a full coverage concealer. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me in Light 10. This is the best drugstore concealer that you will be able to find. Kind of like a ride or die because I've been using this concealer for a very long time. Like I said, it's not like a full face of first impressions, but it is up to for the holidays. I am flying to Wisconsin on Thursday, so I will have, I'm trying to film as many videos as I can. My foundation looks freaking incredible. I'm telling you, it does. So the next product I'm like really excited about is the Patrick Star and MAC Cosmetics collaboration it's the setting powder so if you guys don't know who Patrick Starr is you should definitely check him out because he is like the king of or queen I guess I don't know a king I would say king king of baking and so he collaborated with MAC Cosmetics to come out with a setting powder and I actually was able oops able to pre-order this I literally just opened it I've never used this before I don't know what it's like. I'm going to use it to bake. It's so finely milled and I look crazy. It's cool. I'm gonna do my brows with the ColourPop pencil just because I've used this product before and this is gonna take me a minute. I will be back in a flash. So brows are on. I'm going to quickly do a quick, do a quick brow highlight. And the same shade Angel. So, I'm going to do a dust uh, away. I'm going to quickly just take a little bit and just kind of brush it through my face powder is so good okay so for bronzer I want to go in with my butter bronzer this is a brand new one this is also not a new product to me a good makeup day you're just like I'm gonna tell the world that I'm having a good makeup day so this is not a new blush but it is oops but it is a new blush to me, and this is the Tarte Ornate um, Blush. This is what it looks like. I was trying to see if it was in my like Bizarre Blush or whatever it's called. I got like a ton of Tarte blushes, but it's not. This was another deal on Black Friday, and I was like, ah, I gotta scoop it up, so. Oh yeah. I am living. I like how this is turning out. We go in with the Milani Strobe Light in Day Glow. 
This is what it looks like here. I believe this is a new product. Okay. It's not like, oh my god, I'm like blinding everyone, but it's not terrible either. That's what I love about highlighter, and that's why I think I use it so much, because I went from a total matte face to now having like kind of a very luminous, healthy, glowing face. This video may or may not be like five hours long, so I'm gonna go into the shade Spice right here. And I'm going to, oh Jesus. And we're gonna go into, put that on my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush and we're gonna pick up that Allison shade. And we're gonna put that all the way in the inner corner. connect some mascara on my bottom lashes. I swear, like this video is gonna be five hours long. And then last but not least is lashes. I mean, lashes, lips. So I'm just gonna keep it pretty neutral. I'm gonna go in with the Lip Pencil Bumble by ColourPop. This is also, these are new to me, so. I live for ColourPop, so if you ever wanna try affordable makeup and have really good quality, ColourPop. I just wanna like walk around public like this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go with the shade Lumiere. It's like a lippy stick. Because I wanna be extra, I'm gonna go in with the Pure Cosmetics Little Pony. And give it some shine. And lastly, just set it. Okay, guys, so this is the final makeup look. I love how it turned out. I really do like it. I think I like I like all the products that I tried. Living for this foundation, for the powder, for this eyeshadow palette. I mean, this stuff is this is incredible. For the lips, I mean, this is all like new stuff I've used. The br the bronzer is not new. The highlighter, everything. I love it so much. If you want more videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and yeah, I just I really like how this turned out. I mean, these lashes, I think, give it life. It's like bam. So you guys do try this at home. I mean, let me know because I think it's so pretty. Usually, any stuff doesn't turn out like I'm not like. Oh my gosh, like, it's crazy when stuff actually like, turns out, you know. So hopefully this video wasn't too long for you. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and for being a supporter of mine. I appreciate it so much. And I really hope to see you guys in my next video.